Today we are diving into the future of data engineering. With AI and cloud technologies evolving so fast, what we can expect in the next five years? I've analyzed the market data and trends, and I'm here to share three major predictions that will shape the world of data engineering, in my opinion. Prediction number one, the rise of real-time data pipelines. In the next five years, businesses will demand faster insights. Real-time data pipelines will become the norm, driven by the need for instant decision-making. Technologies like Apache Kafka and Flink are already booming, and we'll see even more innovation in this space. You can also integrate LMS with graph and vector databases for real-time updates. This approach uses event-driven architecture like Kafka or RapidMQ to capture and process LM outputs effectively. Like adding new entities or relationships, updating existing relationships based on the context, or retiring or marking relationships as outdated. Imagine, user asks, which product is the best for me? So LLM analyzes the query, updates the graph with interested in relationships, and creates dynamic query, let's say using Cypher to recommend products. Market data shows a 30% annual growth rate in real-time analytics solutions. I think if you're a data engineer, mastering streaming platforms will be a core skill. Prediction number two, AI-powered data engineering tools. AI isn't just for models, it's coming for data engineering too. We're already seeing AI automating schema mapping, data quality checks, and anomaly detection. Here are the job postings I found which require AI skills from data engineers. So it feels like postmodern data stack will emerge. More integrated approach with simpler operations. But this doesn't mean data engineers will lose their jobs. Instead, our focus will shift toward higher level architecture and optimization. So yes, upskilling is still crucial. The toolkit for data engineers will continue to evolve, meaning you will need to advance your skills. That's why I highly recommend Data Engineer course on DataCamp plus their AI track. Links below. 47,000 people enrolled in this hands-on course. It has short, focused video explanations and interactive learning, so invest in yourself. Prediction number three, cloud cost management. My third prediction is about money. Here comes the money. Not reduction, but optimization. Look at this chart. Private spending on data center construction has grown to almost 30 billion per year. It's almost double the amount spent in 2022. Data centers have more investment than hotels, hospitals, schools, etc. The US leads in data center investment, but globally it will amount to 250 billion. It means more data, more computation, more storage, and guess what? More data management. Also, generative AI, LLMs, and real-time applications need a lot of computational resources. So the likely outcome is a dual trend. Basic computation gets cheaper, commodity services like storage and standard computing might continue to drop in price thanks to competition and innovation. But premium services stay expensive. High-performance computing, like for AI training, remain costly due to surging demand and the need for cutting-edge hardware. Hello, NVIDIA H100. So, to recap, real-time data pipelines, AI-powered tools, and cloud cost optimization are three trends that will define data engineering in the next five years. If you want to stay ahead, start sharpening your skills in these areas today. What do you think of these predictions? Are there any trends you're noticing in your work? Tell me in the comments. And until then, stay curious!